These days, the term streaming media can have many different applications. Whether you're streaming to the cloud or streaming to Facebook or YouTube or streaming within a venue or streaming from one venue to another, from one point to another, there are many different applications for streaming media. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a product that covered them all? Let's take a look at Videon's VersaStreamer. It's a product that covers every single application for live production in one complete, simple, easy to use box. Let's take a look at it. So this is the unit here, uh, and it's got two cables plugged into it. It's got an ethernet cable carrying power for a PoE uh, connection. So we're actually powering the unit through the ethernet. And then we have a HDMI cable, which is coming from an ADA UHD 100. So we could be sending this a 4K signal, but in this case, we're sending it a 1080p 60. We can also get the same uh, format on the SDI input. So the unit here, uh, we can log into the web UI by typing in its IP address, and we can see what the input resolution is and how we have it configured for doing um, HDMI with embedded audio or SDI, uh, SDI with 3.5 millimeter audio, etc. It's letting us know that it's streaming, it's recording, and let's take a look at these encoder settings. So the unit is an encoder, and we can set it up in a variety of different ways. We can do constant or variable bit rate. We can adjust the keyframe interval. Um, we have quality uh, settings, which adjust the latency. And then we have H.264 and H.265 uh, encoding options and bit rate options. So here is um, our H.264 profile. We have options of high, main, and baseline. And then we have our audio encoding. Now for the fun part. Let's take a look at the output settings. The output settings cover so many different things at one time. Uh, let's start with our three RTMPs. So we can do our standard RTMP. Here I have uh, YouTube RTMP and stream key. Um, I have it on. And then I can also, instead of doing um, a generic RTMP, I can also connect via a YouTube pairing or we could log in via our Facebook account, and we can do all three of these at the same time. Another is the HTTP pull. It's uh, more commonly known as HLS. It's a format developed by Apple for HTTP live streaming. So this one stream uh, is great for in-venue applications. So in this case, we're streaming to Facebook, YouTube, or our own CDN. In this case, this is great for on-premises decoding. So we can stream to computers and tablets, um, anything which can decode uh, HTTP live streaming. So if I pull up my copy of VLC, we can see that's going here. You can see that I'm also streaming this to my cell phone. So I've just typed in the same address and we could make a link on like a local arena site and we could be streaming that live to tablets, cell phones, uh, laptops, etc. anywhere that you want to tackle that with. So that's HLS, HTTP live streaming. Um, SRT is a, a real buzzword because secure reliable transport is a way of doing um, live streaming from one point to any other point. And secure reliable means that uh, it's allowing us to utilize latency and bandwidth to accommodate for unreliable networks. So we can send video reliably from one point to another and it will buffer that data. And in this case, I'm only sending it locally via SRT over to our copy of vMix just to demonstrate that it's working, but we could be sending this from here to virtually any place on earth for decoding or up into the cloud. So SRT is a really powerful tool for sending video from one place to another and then decoding it and doing something else with it. Multicast is uh, set up to broadcast to a number of devices uh, on a network. And unicast is a way of sending from one point to another using uh, traditional network topology. So uh, RTP, in this case, uh, I have it turned on. Again, I'm just showing it in vMix. I'm streaming from the video on encoder at dot 128 to the vMix computer at dot 135, and it's listening on port 1000. So, you know, this is just showing the differences that we're able to do multiple streams. So we've got 
our RTMP, we've got our HLS, we've got our SRT, we've got our uh, unicast. We can do two unicasts, we can do RTSP, and then all at the same time, we're recording the output of the camera into the HDMI to an SD card that's in the system. And that tells us uh, how much space we have left there. And then when we're done recording, it will upload to an FTP if we want to do that. So the applications are pretty broad. If you're, for example, in an educational environment and you want to stream to all of the different classrooms, you could use HLS to do that, and you could use Unicast to send to another campus. You could use SRT to send to another campus. You could use RTMP to stream to Facebook, and you can be recording a copy of your lecture all at the same time. Another example would be a house of worship. If you want to stream to YouTube and at the same time make a recording and at the same time send a stream to two different off-site campuses and use HLS to stream within venue to a bunch of monitors. There are so many different applications for this product for people that need to do one stream, two streams, multiple kinds of streams. Everything can be done right within this one small, easy to use box. So you can see it's very simple to set up and it can take a number of different kinds of connections, whether you're talking about it. HDMI, SDI, 4K, HD 1080p 60, regardless of what you wanna feed it and where you wanna send it, this one box will turn regular video from your camera into streams that will go around your building, around the world, onto your USB stick, all at the same time. So if you have any further questions, you can check them out at videon-central.com or you can always reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Thanks for watching. <laughs>